The story goes back to several years ago when we realized that when a pathologist sign out and gives us an interpretation of the bone marrow of patients with MDS, uh, often he writes also another finding which he has not or she has not been asked about, and that the presence of lymphoid aggregate. What does it mean? That in some areas along the smear, the pathologist sees that there is accumulation of lymphoid cells or lymphocytes. Well, the Signification, this, the implication of this has not been clear, but we had a clinical observation. Most of our research basically is based on observations and, and then an attempt to, to clarify this observation and to try to answer the question whether this observation is meaningless or on the other hand it's meaningful and let's try to understand what does it mean and what should we do with it. So this is what happened with this. We realized that in many bone marrow samples, not always, but in many bone marrow samples, in many interpretations. The report includes, in addition to the already known parameters such as cellularity and details about the red blood cell series, the white blood cell series, the megacarotids and so on, an additional comment about the presence of lymphoid aggregates or the absence and we decided to test it. So we reviewed more than 100 reports of patients with MDS and compared them to controls, 100 controls. And sure enough, uh, and maybe not surprisingly at that point, we found that uh, the presence of lymphoid aggregates is relatively high, about 34%. So, to, so theoretically, I would say that one out of three patients with MDS at presentation has in the bone marrow already lymphoid aggregates compared with only 10 to 12% in controls. So the first finding was that indeed patients with MDS have lymphoid aggregates more than others. The second question was, what does it mean? Is it important? And we know that lymphoid aggregates or lymphocytes are part of the immune system. So the question was, does it mean that the immune system fails and this is why these patients develop MDS? Or maybe this means that the immune system is fighting the MDS and these patients might have a better prognosis. Now, I can't tell you that at the moment I have the definite answer to this question, but I can tell you that when we reviewed the charts of these patients and we reviewed the course of these patients, they, we found that Probably the survival was not different, but the presence of lymphoid aggregates was sure associated with several other poor prognostic factors. So in a way I can say that probably the presence of lymphoid factors maybe indicate that these patients might have poor outcome compared with those who do not. Well, obviously, this is only the first study, and one has to be cautious in interpret interpreting these findings. We will have to repeat it. We will have to do it again in larger number. We will have to expect others to repeat it. But maybe we are finding here another a factor or another parameter which can serve in the future as a prognostic parameter.